Yes, I can hear you. Okay, perfect. How are you? I'm doing good. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. Um, it's great to see you. Um, I'm so glad that you could join us today. Um, we've got um, Jessica in here, and then I believe Lindsay will be joining us shortly, and they're just going to be going over um, one of our process updates in our product. And so um, let us know if you have any questions or anything like that. And hi, Jessica. How are you doing? Hi. Can you hear me? Doing good? Yes. Awesome. Yes. Happy Monday. <laughs> Happy Monday to you too. Hi, Lindsay. Hey, Ela. How's it going? It's going good. How are you? Pretty good. I wait. Uh, Jessica, I can't see what you're looking. I, at. Yeah, I'm trying to switch my camera. Um, oh, yeah. oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> like, what's going on? <laughs> No, everything is all good. I just want to make sure. I, I got you guys. Um, I'm going to log out and log back in and see if my um, monitor camera will pick up this time. I'm just not sure why it didn't uh, turn on. I'll be right back. No worries. No worries. Process, and we really just want to open up the room to agents who have questions or need to provide feedback on the process um, and start there. And then um, I think Jessica has some more content for future meetings of this sort. Mm -hmm. And we'll kind of like take the agent feedback as it comes and adjust the meeting accordingly. Exactly. Exactly. Because I know that we want to make sure that we're always improving always um always fixing it up so Are you here, Jess? I'm here. I'm uh, camera is having connection issue, but I'm just gonna uh, join without it. So I'm here. I'm ready to roll when you guys are. Thank yep, you. Yep, we're all good. We're all good. Why don't we go ahead and get started? Awesome. Um, so, Lindsay, do you want to um, run through our current CDA process, or is that um, should I do it? I can. Okay, perfect. So currently the process is that Radius doesn't issue CDAs sooner than seven days prior to the closing. At this point, like negotiations 
are for the most part finalized and we're just in that last stretch of the transaction. So seven days prior to the close of escrow is when we start taking a look at the file in terms of like what we're doing with the CDA. So at seven days, we're either going to approve the agent to be paid directly or we're going to send them one last reminder of the items needed in order to have them paid directly. And then at five days prior to close of escrow, if we didn't authorize that agent to be paid directly, then five days prior to close of escrow, we are taking a second look at the file and either approving the agent to be paid directly or we're going to send what we call like our non-compliant CDA, which instructs the closing company to send the bulk commission payment to Radius and we will disperse once the file is in good standing. So in order to get paid on time, um, we have just a few expectations from the agents, right? So we, one, need the file to be submitted on time. So it's company policy that all file transactions are submitted to Skyslope within 48 hours of acceptance. This gives the auditor and the agent ample time to be making file audits, revisions, reviews, like we're, we're kind of in constant communication of approving the documents or rejecting them and letting you know why they're being rejected. And then the agent has time to get those corrections in before we're looking to issue the CDA. We also need an accurate close of escrow date in Skyslope. Since the issuance of the CDA is dependent on when the file is closing, it's super important that we have an accurate close of escrow date so that that file naturally comes through our pipeline and we know exactly when to start looking at it for a CDA. We need the commission tab completed with at least the gross commission amount and your TC fee, if applicable. Any splits with your team that are unusual or credits or home warranty contributions, we need that all noted under the commission tab so that we know to include that on the CDA. And then lastly, we need the escrow or title or closing attorney, depending on what state you're in. Um, we need their contact info complete and accurate because we, the way we do it with DocuSign is once all parties have signed the CDA, it automatically gets routed to the closing company that we have on file in Skyslope. So if that information is incorrect or missing, we don't know who to send the CDA to and they're the ones that are actually issuing the money. So it's super important that we have that correct contact info. Of course, the expectations I just went over, if they're not met, that kind of all leads to delays in CDAs being issued and delays in payments being issued. For CDA revision requests, um, typically any requests made before 3 p.m. Monday through Friday will be handled the same business day, um, but requests made after 3 p.m. might be handled the following business day. We're working on some improvements. Um, we want to provide the agent and their team lead a draft CDA at the beginning of the transaction. So the agent has more than seven days to like get everything finalized, right? And we're not like scrambling at the end of the transaction. So, but, so by providing that draft CDA, up front, the agent is like aware of the numbers that they're working with. Maybe they have um, some extras that they can contribute to their client's closing cost if needed, or if they want to like purchase a home warranty on behalf of their client. They it's just adding to the transparency of those numbers. And then um, we're going to add that the auditor checks the above mentioned expectations at the initial audit. So rather right now, the initial audit just consists of checking the initial documents uploaded, like the purchase agreement. Um, but now we're going to be checking that um, the file was submitted on time and the close of the escrow date matches what's in the contract and we have the commission info and that there's at least something there for the escrow or closing company so that if not, we catch that in the initial audit and it's an additional reminder to the agent that we need that information. 
So I know um, that's kind of a lot of information to take in, especially if you haven't been through the CDA process yourself with RADIUS, but I would like to open it up for any questions, clarifications, feedback on any of this. I think we do we have any agents in the room? Yeah, we have a couple, it looks like. So for anyone that's kind of look at this, um, is there anything that comes to mind immediately um, as far as feedback goes or questions go? Um, one of the things that we really pride ourselves on is being able to take into account um, agent feedback and really try and implement things, especially um, if it will improve the user experience, the, the workflow of the actual process, things like that. So, um, Feel free to unmute and let us know. Yes, please don't be shy. We love we love to hear all the feedback, whether it's it's good or bad. <laughs> sure. I just have a question when it comes to sky slope. Um, because when you log in on sky slope on your dash, it just takes you to the main one. And then there's like three different versions. There's like suites and forms. And so every time I go to do a document, I keep forgetting which one to log in. So is there a way to just have it just like one main, like once you press sky slope, it's just the one main thing? Um, when you log in, uh, you want to always log into suites. Suites is like where you report your transactions. That's like the main part of sky slope. Forms is just an, it's like an app. Um, it's, it's an additional function that Skyslope offers. So, um, I guess, I guess to answer your question, it's best to log into suites. And then if you want to switch over from forms, you can do that once, once you're logged in, it should be pretty seamless. Also, when um, any like internal staff member is referring to Skyslopes, we are referring to Skyslope Suites. And that's like the digital filing cabinet where all of your transactions and their um, documentation is held. Oh, I think I think we lost her. I think that was Curlin. Kerlin, are you still there? It says she's still in the. It says she's still in the room. So. Oh, were we able to to answer that question for you? Hmm. What is going on? Here, let me try removing her as a speaker and then adding her back in. Maybe that will help. As it kind of sounded like she might have been driving or something. So maybe she's going through like a poor. Uh, maybe her connection got cut off. Okay. Um, well, we can connect with her separately. I can pass on um, contact information and whatnot. Um, just to make sure that we can collect that feedback. Um Perfect and answer any questions that we might need to, because, you know, that's always important. Uh, are there any other questions or is there anything else that we may need to, to cover? I think that's like pretty much it. We, we went over our current processes and then Lindsay um, described um, a proposed um, update to our processes, which would be releasing the CDA draft at the front end of the transaction. Um, we'd love to continue collecting feedback from you guys. So um, if nothing comes to mind on this call, please always feel free to reach out to us or your ASM um, with any feedback on our CDA processes. And again, please don't be shy. We love to hear all, all your feedback, the good, the bad, and the ugly. <laughs> I think I think Curlin was able to rejoin us. Curling, can you hear us? Yes, I'm back in now. Sorry about that. <laughs> no worries, no worries. Oh, Curling, um, I'm not. Oh, sorry, Jessica, go ahead. 
Oh, I'm sorry. I was just going to say, I'm, I'm not sure if you caught us. Um, oh, Lindsay, you're still sharing your screen. <laughs> I'm like, wait, where, where did we go? <laughs> Carolyn, I'm not sure if you caught, um, if you caught our response to your question, but if not, we can always go back over it. Yes. The last thing that I heard was to always use um, the sweet sky soap sweets. Yep. And as Lindsay mentioned, whenever, um, you know, anyone like your ASM or your auditor is referring to Skyslope, we're referring to suites. That's where all of your transactions are housed. Um, forms, for example, like Skyslope Forms, that's just an additional app that Skyslope offers. So when you do log in, you want to log into suites first. Okay, got it. So I don't need to use forms or anything. Just always just go to suites. Exactly. Yeah. Forms is just an ad additional um like feature, you don't have to use it. Okay. Does anyone else have any questions or any feedback at all? I have another question if nobody has any. Sure. No, you're all okay. good. Ask away. This is this is your time. <laughs> okay. So with my with my last closing on the CDA, um there's like in the section where they want the MLS uh, um, printout where it says sold. So I was having the issue where um, it was saying like my old brokerage and not the new brokerage, you know? So I was able to like, it was weird because on the computer it would show my old brokerage, but from my phone it showed my new brokerage. So, and then whoever was closing my 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 thing at the time would not accept it so what do you do in cases like that when you have that issue okay. <laughs> I would reach out to your um, MLS directly your MLS or your association and just make sure that they have um, your updated brokerage information um, I know it can take a little bit of processing time on their end. Um, but as long as we can like continue following up and just make sure we get that sold MLS reflecting the correct brokerage, it shouldn't be an issue. Like we'll, we'll st that won't hold up an agent being paid directly from escrow. It's just a technicality that we need on file. Okay, got it. All right. Is there anything else that we may have missed? Any other last minute details that we need to cover? All right. Well, I guess I guess that concludes today's session. Um, so we will be having um, different product updates throughout in rooms. And so, um, Kerlin, especially if you have any other questions, um, feel free to contact your ASM um, or uh, I can absolutely put you in touch with Lindsay or Jessica um, and we can take that conversation uh, offline. So. OK, thank you. Of course, of course. Thank you guys for joining today. Um, so we'll go ahead and we'll conclude. Um, but I hope everyone has a great rest of their Monday and uh, we'll see you guys in rooms next time. Oh, Ela, I just wanted to say too, Kerlin, um, of the compliant, the transaction. rooms, please feel free. Um, and we can definitely go over checklists or processes or anything like that. We can answer all the sky slope questions too and, and walk you through it. Okay, perfect. Thank you so much. Yes. Um, the coffee contracts and closings, and then also I believe it's the mom meetup. Yep. That is on Thursdays. Um, Jessica hosts both of those sessions. And then Lindsay is also in attendance at those sessions too. So uh, feel free to join anytime. And um, like Jessica said, they, they'll be happy to answer any of your questions. So, All right.
Well, I hope everyone has a great rest of their Monday. Um, we will see you guys in rooms next time. Have a great rest of your Monday. Bye. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Bye. Thank Bye. you. Thank you.